I'm going to tell you about all new cars coming to Europe in 2024, so let's get going. The BMW iX2 is going electric. The gas version has been on the market for a little bit with over 220 miles that's converted from the WLTP range, around $65,000 converted from euros in zero to 60 again, converted from kilometers at around 5.6 seconds. Now, I can't say that this is very impressive, but it is a BMW, so there are probably going to be some sales, though I gotta tell you, I think this one will have a tough time competing with all crossover SUVs that are coming on the market and have been on the market for a while. The BYD Seal U, now don't confuse this one with the BYD Seal, which is a sedan, and we have plenty of them here in Thailand, this is a crossover. Now, it's got about 255 EPA equivalent miles, around $50,000 converted from euros, and it's been on the market in China for about half a year. Now, this is yet another vehicle that BYD will be offering in Europe, trying to compete with Tesla quite successfully, I might add. This would be their 15th electric vehicle on the market, and last year in 2023, BYD started making more electric cars than Tesla, and that is impressive. Moving on, the Citroën EC3. Now, this model has been offered in a gas version for a while now in Europe, and the EV is going to be quite affordable at around 25,000 American dollars converted from euros, but for that, you're gonna have to deal with some unimpressive specs, which are 163 EPA equivalent miles, in zero to 60 in 11 seconds. So this is a budget car, but you're not gonna get much for it. All right, before we move on to the next one, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Energy Pal. Are you thinking about going solar, but not sure what panels to get, whether or not to get a home battery or how much all of this is going to cost? Well, Energy Pal will do all of that for you and you will get a $500 gift card when your installation is complete if you use the link in the description of this video. Oh, and they even have this EV calculator that will tell you exactly what system to get so it can handle charging your EV all year round. That link is down there as well. All right, back to the list. The Cupra Tavascan is essentially a little brother of the Volkswagen ID.5. The Cupra is one of the Volkswagen Group brands, so you can expect a lot of very similar specs as the Volkswagen ID.5 with about 340 miles of range, 5.6 seconds, that's 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. And this is going to be yet another Volkswagen Group EV on the market. Let's see how they do. It does look very interesting. And let's see if it can compete with its bigger brothers and sisters. All right, the next EV is the Ford e Torneo Courier. And we do need more of the minivans on the market. There is already a gas version that's been available for a while. The electric version is only going to be available in Europe, which is a shame. We don't know much about it. It does look like a gas conversion, but at this point, we'll take it. We do need minivans. The Ford Explorer EV is coming to Europe, but unfortunately not coming to the US, which is surprising. We don't know much about the specs, but we do know it's going to start at around 45,000 euros, which is a little under $50,000, depending on the, how strong the dollar is going to be in 2024. There is, of course, already a gas version of uh, this car, and uh, Ford will continue making it, but let's see if this EV does well enough in Europe for Ford to bring it back to America. All right, what's next? The Honda ENY1. Not only this EV has a pretty bad name, but also pretty bad specs to go along with it. At only 130 EPA equivalent miles, 7.6 seconds is there at zero to 60 specs, and yet it's going to be priced at under $60,000, almost at $60,000 if you convert it from euros. I don't know who's going to be buying this. Honda has already embarrassed themselves with the Honda E that also had pretty bad specs and very high price. So I'm assuming this one will have similar fate. Now, this one does already have a gas powered version, uh, which is the Honda ZRV, but I don't see how this one is going to be a success. 
The MG Cyberster is beating Tesla Roadster second generation to market. Check out those scissor doors. It's got some pretty decent specs. 0 to 60 in about 3.2 seconds. 267 EPA equivalent miles. It's coming to Europe. It's coming to China. But there is already a gas powered version of this car. So MG does know how to make it. And it is a very, very good looking sports car. And we do need more electric powered sports cars out there. The Peugeot E3008, there is already a gas-powered version, and we don't know much about the electric version except for the fact that it's going to have a very impressive range if they keep their promise at 435 miles. This is a pretty good-looking car. It is not going to come to the US. I don't think anybody even knows about Peugeot in the US, so this is going to be a very welcomed addition to the crossover selection in Europe. The Renault 5 e -Tech. Now, this is going to be a pretty cute little subcompact car, but uh, the range is also going to be very much subcompact at around 204 EPA equivalent miles. We don't know much about it, including the price. If the price is right, it can actually be a success because it is good looking. Of course, it's going to be available in Europe only. I don't think uh, Renault is the brand uh, in the United States that people recognize. And uh, the mini cars are not something that Americans like to buy. This is just made for Europe car. It could be perfect if the price is right. The Renault Scenic e -Tech. Now, this is the electric version of the gas powered Scenic. And this one is not bad at all with over 300 of EPA equivalent miles at only just above $50,000 converted from euros. We don't know much about the rest of the specs, but this does seem to be a pretty good addition to the crossover market that is being flooded, but yet uh, this one will probably fit pretty nicely. The smart number three, and it looks like the third time is the charm because I'm not a big fan of the smart brand until now. This is actually a pretty good looking electric vehicle. It's priced very well at around 42 equivalent US dollars, 232 equivalent EPA miles and zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds. Of course, it's not coming to the US. Unfortunately, I think, I think it's going to do well if Smart decides to bring it to the US. It's already been out in China and it's coming to Europe in 2024. I think it's going to do very well. I think it's a looker and it's, I think it's finally taking Smart in the right Smart direction. The KG Mobility Taurus EVX. Now, I got to tell you, I've never heard of this brand. This is a Korean brand and this EV is already on the market in Korea. It's coming to Europe in 2024. Unfortunately, not coming to the US. We don't know much about the starting price or other specs, but it does look like it will have at around 269 miles, which is pretty decent. And it's a pretty decent looking crossover. So looking forward to that. All right, let's move on to the next one. And it is the Audi Q6 e-tron, yet another electric Audi. I'm looking forward to this one. We don't know much about it, but it is supposed to hit both the US and European markets in 2024. But we do know that the range is going to be closer to 400 miles at around 373. Let's see how it does as the addition to the Audi electric vehicle family and the bigger Volkswagen Group electric vehicle family. The Cadillac Celestic. Now this is a big one. This is the full size ultra luxury lift back and the price is going to be Celestic as well. Starting at ready 340 thousand American dollars with 300 miles of range, zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds. It will be available in the US and Europe a little bit later. And I gotta tell you, they're not gonna be making too many of them, but this is gonna be one awesome electric car. The Hyundai Ioniq 7. Now, Hyundai has done really, really well with electric cars and specifically the Ioniq brand. This is going to be yet another success, I can tell you already. Even though we don't know too much about the specs, uh, the range is going to be over 300 miles. That's pretty much the only thing that we know, but it is coming to the US and Europe in 2024. Now, what you're looking at right now is the concept called 7 by Hyundai, but it looks like Ioniq 7 is going to be based on that. 
so expect the design to be very similar. The Jeep Recon. Yes, Jeep is finally going electric and this is going to be the electric version of the Jeep Wrangler, though we don't know much about it. We don't know any specs, we don't know a price, we just know they're doing it. And they're doing it in 2024, they're going to be bringing it to the US first and Europe and other global markets to follow, but that's all we know. I'm just excited that Jeep is finally joining uh, the century. The Jeep Wagoneer is going electric. There's obviously the gas version, but the electric version is the Wagoneer S. And I gotta tell you, it's got some pretty impressive specs at 400 miles of range, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. We don't know the price, but I would say expect nothing less than $70,000. It is coming to America first in 2024 and then Europe and other global markets. I am excited that Jeep is going electric. It's just about time and we just need to hope that they are going to be ready for the off-road experiences which are different in electric vehicles. All right, now we got to talk about this one, the Lotus Emea. Now, you may be surprised to hear that this is not Lotus's first electric car. It's not even their second electric car. Now, we don't know too much about it, not the price, not the specs, but we do know the most important spec of any sports car, which is zero to 60. It will be 2.78 seconds, which is not that bad. It is coming to all global markets 2024, and it is a beauty. The Lucid Gravity. Now, this is the second car from Lucid, and even though they've had all kinds of production problems, they are the best at two most important things when it comes to electric cars, which is the range and the charging time. So take this one seriously. It's a full-sized SUV. It's a luxury SUV, over 440 miles of range, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, and I think it's pretty good looking. It's coming to the US in 2024 and to Europe after that. The Mini Ace Man. This is yet another mini electric car and this one has a mini range at about 204 EPA equivalent miles. Unfortunately, we don't know anything else about the car, including the price. If you price it right, this could be a great electric choice. But if you price it too high, like Honda likes to do, this could be a disaster. It's coming to Europe and America and all over the world in 2024. And I gotta tell you, it's actually pretty good looking, don't you think? The Polestar 3, one of three new Polestars coming to the market this year. And I gotta tell you, the Polestar 2, to my surprise, has done very, very well. Obviously, it is a sub-brand of Volvo. It's got the infotainment system that's based on the Android Automotive OS, which I think is a huge perk. This one is going to have over 300 miles of range. The starting price is about $84,000, 0 to 60 in about 4.6 seconds. It's coming to the US, it's coming to Europe this year, and I, 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 I can't even tell you whether or not it's going to do well because I've been wrong about this one. So I think it's safe to assume that it's going to do at least as well as the Polestar 2. All right, now we got to talk about this one. The Polestar Precept or the Polestar 5. I don't know which name they're going to go with, but whichever it's going to be, it's going to be one of the three new Polestars on the market. They've done very, very well with the Polestar 2. We don't know much about this one. This is going to be an executive sedan. Pretty much no pricing or specs have been revealed, but I'm going to assume it's going to fall in love with the rest of them, probably with over 300 miles of range, but I'm going to assume this one will start closer to a hundred thousand American dollars. It's going to be available in the US and Europe this year, 2024. The Ram 1500 is finally going electric. They are at least one year late because of the Ford F-150, the Silverado, they're both gone electric already. Of course, there is the Cybertruck and Rivian and a couple of others that are already coming to the market as well. But they are promising pretty impressive specs, especially when it comes to the range at 500 miles, 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. And they're coming to both the US and Europe. I expect that they're going to be probably closer to the end of the year because Ram has been dragging their feet into the electrified future. But I am excited that Ram is finally here 
as well. The Range Rover is finally going electric, though I'm not really sure how serious they are about it because they didn't even bother come up with a cool name or any name except for the Range Rover Electric. As a matter of fact, I have to show you their hybrid version because they don't really have much of a video or the specs or the price for the electric version even though they are saying they're coming to the us and europe in 2024 instead they have you know this video which mainly features that girl here which i don't mind but aren't we supposed to be talking about the car the volkswagen id7 this one's going to be an executive sedan not too many manufacturers make those anymore but i love them over 300 miles of EPA equivalent range with a pretty decent starting price with just above $60,000 converted from euros. We don't know too much about it, but I do expect that Volkswagen is going to try to impress us and make this a relatively luxury car. It's coming to the US, to Europe and China this year, and I am looking forward to it. The Volvo EX90. I cannot stop talking about how impressed I am by Volvo. Only 10 years ago, I wouldn't consider buying one, but now their designs are beautiful. Beautiful. They have gone electric pretty successfully. Their specs are pretty decent, including this one. I'll tell you about them in a second. And I cannot stop telling you guys that it is an Android-based operating system inside the car, which I think is a huge perk. Now, this one starts at around $77,000, which is fair because it's a full-sized SUV, 300 miles of range and 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. All pretty decent specs for the US and Europe where it's coming to in 2024. The Alpine A290 Beta. Now, this is a new brand and it's coming to Europe in 2024. Unfortunately, we don't really know much about it except for the manufacturer cannot really make up its mind what it's actually going to be. They have described it as a compact sports car, an urban sports car, a multi-purpose sports vehicle, and a hatchback, depending on which marketing material you would look. So very interesting but at this point we're just gonna have to keep our eyes on it and see if it's actually going to come to reality all right let me know which one you're rooting for and if you want to know about all electric cars that are coming on the market this year i've put all of them together in one video and you can check it out right here all right looking forward to all of your comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged